Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making chicken breast in my air fryer. I have two in here right now. I have the silicone liner in the bottom to keep these from sticking while they're cooking. I have it seasoned with this um, Mrs. Dash, no salt, garlic and herb. And then I also have, I sprayed a little bit of this olive oil spray on top so that way it, it, it'll have a little help with the browning in here while it's cooking. So I'm going to put these inside and we're going to start this up. Now it's going to cook on 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, we're going to press start and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm getting ready to, to um, it's this one, use chicken are at the halfway point. So I'm going to pull them out now. As you kind of see, don't they look good? Man? Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm going to flip these over. I'll let you see them. Yeah, they cook pretty good, I think. Even from being as big as they are. So there's where they are. I'm going to put a little seasoning on this side. And then we're going to pop them in for another 10 minutes. For the other side here. I'm going to put a lot on that one. That will be good and spicy. Put a little cooking spray on there so it doesn't get dry. A little bit of this um, olive oil spray I'm going to put on here. It browns up nice. Okay, so there you can kind of see how they look. I put a little bit of that spray on there and seasoning. I put a little too much on the one on the right, but that's okay. It won't go to waste. It'll make it taste extra spicy. Okay. So now we got it. I'm going to put it right back in. I put it back in now. So you can kind of see it. It's going to go back in. And we're going to continue on. I'm going to bump that up to 10. And we're going to continue on. Alright, I'll come back when it's done. See how the chicken turned out. That chicken looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -mm, good. Okay, we're gonna put these in here. And okay, and then we've got the other two here that we're gonna put in there, and we're gonna cook those next. So they cooked up pretty fast by cutting them in half. I think that really made a difference in helping them cook a little faster too. Because if it had been really big, that would have been quite, well, I think it would have taken probably 30 minutes to cook them. So I'm going to put these two in here. And hopefully they won't be as, that's not as heavy as the other ones were. This one's a little bit lighter. But not by much. Okay, so you can kind of see how those look. It's not quite as big a piece as the other one was. And I've already got the seasoning on them. The only thing I need now is some of this um, little bit of cooking spray on there. And we'll put them right in. Same time as the other ones and they should be perfect. So there you can see it's got the cooking spray on them. And then I'm going to come around here and I'm going to put them in my oven here. Yep, there they go. Turn that on. It's already pre-set to 350 in 20 minutes. So I'm going to press start. And when I get back, in 10 minutes, we'll flip them over. Okay, it's time to flip these over. You can see they brown pretty good on there. So I'm going to turn these over. And let them brown on the other side. So you can see the other side. I'm going to put a little bit of um, seasoning. And some more olive oil spray on there. Okay. okay. Get some more of this olive oil spray. Which helps to keep it, it keeps it, helps it brown, 
and it helps it to not dry out in here while it's cooking. So now I'm going to put this back in here. You can see it's going in. And we're going to... It's going to continue cooking for another 10 minutes. And then the next thing I'm going to be cooking when this is done, I'm going to be making this rice, which is this long grain wild rice, garlic, and herb. So when this is done cooking, then I'll be back and I'll show you how I cook this. See you in a little while. Okay, chicken is done. Let's see how they look here. Mmm, doesn't that look yummy? Mmm, good. Okay, those are going to go in here. That in here. And next thing I'm going to do is show you how I make my rice. I'm going to come back for that one. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to be making this long grain and wild rice. And it has garlic and herb in it. Really good stuff. Okay, we're going to make this and I'm in my microwave. And I'm going to put it in this container. It's a microwave container. There you can see the rice. It's a wild rice and white rice. And, and then it's going to have some seasoning that goes in here with it. I'm going to put that on top. And then we're going to add it. It says to add three cups of water. So I'm going to put three cups of water in here. And then it's going to go in the microwave. And I'm going to leave it uncovered so that way it doesn't boil over. So here's my microwave. It's going to go in there. And then we're going to set the time. I'm going to set the time. And it's going to be, I'm going to, says 24 to 29 minutes. I'm going to say 26 just to be safe. That's kind of like in the middle. And it's going to be set on, um, power is on 10, so that's high. And then we're going to press start. And when it's done, I'll come back and let you see how it turned out. I pulled the rice out, but I think it's a little bit still a little bit of moisture in there so I'm going to put it back in for about three more minutes and see how it does so we'll be back okay we're going to check out this rice hopefully it came out good oh yeah that looks look looks doesn't that look good nice and fluffy okay the next thing I'm going to be cooking is some asparagus so I'll come back for that in just a minute and I'll show you how I do that Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna actually going to do um, three cups of this, this is bag of a frozen um, asparagus that I got. So I'm going to take um, about three cups here. I think that'll be enough to go with the rest of what I cooked. So I'm going to put three cups in here in this other microwave container I have. A little bit more, but I'm going to do one more cup. And I looked at one, it says you don't need to add water, so we're going to go with that. And put the lid on here. So you can see the asparagus. There we go. Pretty good. And this has a vent in the top. It has like a little vent that you can see right there, and that'll let this kind of steam in there. It doesn't need any water or anything. I'm going to put it in the microwave over here. I'm going to go in the microwave, and I'm going to put it on high for, we're going to try the five minutes that they recommend that I looked up online. So we're going to go five, uh-oh, oh. no, actually I want to clear that out. Set the time up here, five, and then you can set the power level. And I set the power level at, at 10, at a high. Then press start. And then we'll come back. I'll let you know how it turned out. Okay, I think it's done. It's steaming just the way we like it. Okay, thanks for watching. 
Okay, so this is the finished. I got the wild rice, the chicken, and the asparagus. Looks really delicious. And it's going to be very delicious. Thanks for watching.